Hey, welcome back to our returning viewers and the new ones checking in. Before we get started, our daily reminder, subscribe to the channel so you're notified of the new content by YouTube and leave some comments on every video so we know what you think. Here's our quick little preview of the AAU Junior Olympics that'll be happening at Drake University in Des Moines, Iowa this weekend. As I've shown most of the season, predicting the top three at these meets is pretty near impossible. The seed times coming from regional meets are usually slower than what the athletes do at nationals, and local judging is often pretty bad, so we don't sure about their technique either. So I'll just take the safe route here and try to pick the winners this time. One noticeable difference from the USATF meet is the separation of the 13 and 14 year age groups that allows the athletes to be a little bit um, to compete against athletes who are more on their developmental curve than combining those age groups because there can be a little bit of a difference with a 13 and a 14 year old. So starting off with all the girls races in the 13 year old division, uh, Shina Patel should win that one. For the 14 year old girls, Victoria Chu looks like the favorite, but this race really is wide open. In the 15 to 16 year old division, Liane Guzman should win that one pretty easily. And in the 17 to 18 year old division, Heather Durant, who just came off setting the new high school record at 3000 meters, should be clearly the favorite if she races. She is scheduled to go down to the Pan Am Under-20 Championship next weekend, so there's a possibility she doesn't race or she takes it easy. In either case, if she's not there or not racing really hard, her sister Hannah would be the favorite. Going to the boys in the 13-year-old age group, it'll be either be Josh Fink or Ruel Newberry. In the 14-year-old group, Bryce Hammond should win. For the 15 to 16-year-olds, it should either be Milo Bolaro or Brock Schweikert. And in the 17 to 18-year-old division, that should be Caleb Schweikert, Brock's brother. We hope you'll spend some time watching the results and the live stream of this meet. It's usually really exciting competition. And if you need that information, follow the link in the description to get that info. That's all for today. Thanks for joining us. Hit that, hit that subscribe button, leave some comments, and have a great day.